Good Monday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning update. Parvovirus is a potentially deadly canine disease that affects a dog's intestinal tract if infected. And a recent large scale outbreak in San Angelo has forced the animal shelter to halt their dog adoptions. Dogs can no longer be accepted or adopted until October 14th when the health of all the dogs in the shelter can be reassessed. Typically, the shelter sees five parvo cases per month. However, 30 dogs have been found to be suffering from the disease. If your pet, if you have a dog and it is not vaccinated, get it vaccinated immediately. Um, and if your dog is not vaccinated, you need to avoid dog parks, uh, pet stores, um, parks, um, anywhere where other dogs congregate. The shelter will remain open for other services, but the city's dog park will be closed until further notice. Several local restaurants within the past week received phone calls from individuals identifying themselves as Mexican gang members. The San Angelo Police Department says that they have made violent threats if money and other items are not handed over. SAPD says that if you are a victim of a similar crime, call 911 and give as much information as possible. And downtown San Angelo was hopping Saturday evening for Oktoberfest, featuring plenty of brews. Live bands were also playing at SoCo Brew and at the Casual Pint. Vendors and food trucks set up at the festival to add to the event fun. SoCo also held some unique competitions, including a mom walk and a few hoisting games with funds benefiting Toys for Tots and a pregnancy health center. Now let's see what's happening in weather with Tabon Sharifi. Tabon, are we staying away from the West Texas heat to start off our first week of October? We are just remaining a couple of degrees above our seasonal averages for today. 85 degrees, partly to mostly cloudy skies, feeling a little bit more humid as we're seeing those winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we head into the evening and overnight hours, a low tonight of 68 degrees. We'll see increasing cloud cover, continuing to see those southerly winds to 10 miles an hour. And as we head into tomorrow, we are watching a very slight chance to see some showers, though they will remain mostly off towards the south. Southeast, if we do see those occur, we'll see increased rain chances towards the weekend. Tomorrow, a high of 86 degrees, partly cloudy and staying on the warmer side.